So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. I don't think there's another consumer product like this. When you hold this in your hands, it's unbelievable. In this first year, we have sold six million iPhones till we ran out some number of weeks ago. Today, we're introducing iPhone 4. Fourth generation iPhone. Now. They called it the innovation of the year, and they wrote that it is the phone that has changed phones forever. And boy, were they right. It simply went on to become the number one smartphone in the world. We started with that first iPhone, and each and every year, we introduce new versions with new features, new innovations, each time setting a new bar for what is the gold standard in the phone marketplace. And we're gonna do that again today. Today, we're going to introduce iPhone 5. These are the new iPhones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, they are without a doubt the best iPhones we've ever done. And I hope you'll agree, they're the best phones you have ever seen. We have created a product that is the most deliberate evolution of our original founding design. Aluminium body and formed sheet of glass describe a singular shape. One made with very few, very precisely engineered parts. Our obsession remains to continuously simplify and improve. From sculpting the camera housing directly out of the aluminium body to embedding the antenna within the enclosure, essentially making it disappear each refinement serves to bring absolute unity and efficiency to the design. To define one truly uninterrupted form, we've developed a whole new process to achieve a high gloss black finish. This begins with rotational 3D polishing. A specialized compound flows over the intricate geometries of the housing, removing imperfections, establishing a seamlessness between materials, and producing a pristine mirror-like surface. The enclosure then goes through an anodization process, which creates a protective oxide layer. A single component dye is absorbed through a capillary effect to ensure maximum saturation while actually becoming part of the surface itself. Finally, a magnetized ultra-fine iron particle bath is used to polish the anodized layer to a superior high shine. When complete, iPhone 7 is the most singular the most evolved representation of this design. So with everyone talking about it, it comes as no surprise, today is the iPhone's birthday. <laughs> hey 
Hey guys, my name's Dominic and you're watching Heliobyte. So how far has Apple come since that very first iPhone back in 2007? Obviously, they don't look anything alike anymore. They come in two bigger versions. So what were their big innovations? We've got 3D Touch, we've got Touch ID, we've got the App Store, which was a huge revolution, not just for iPhones, but for phones in general. Multi-touch, advances in iOS, internet browsing, FaceTime, iMessage, advances in the phones themselves, how thin they've gotten, how lightweight they've gotten, battery life, stabilized cameras, so many innovations. It's pretty easy to forget just what all is packed into this thing. So what do we have to look forward to with the iPhone 8 or 7S or 10 year anniversary iPhone, if you will? Well, here are some concept pictures. We're looking at front glass, rear glass, kind of going back to like iPhone 4S-esque. So what do you guys think will be coming to Apple's phones in the next 10 years? Obviously, there's a lot to be improved on, there are already a whole bunch of features in these things, but I mean, I've got my complaints. I'm sure you guys do too. What do you guys think they're gonna be coming out with new? Give me your craziest ideas. What do you guys think are they gonna pack into these things? Leave your ideas down in the comments below, and maybe I'll show some of them in the next video. Anyways, my name's Dominic. You've been watching Heliobyte. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you like this content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Loud.